Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, just going to show you the update very quickly. Uh, progress, everything's doing extremely well <laughs> as it's been for the last few videos, last few weeks, last few months. Things are getting nice and big. It's nice and humid down here. Everything in the acrylic is doing fantastic, as you can see. And I have a new plant that I want to show you. This is a Rex rhizomatus, I believe. They call it a Rex, but um, I guess I'll know for sure when it blooms. If the flowers are held on stalks high above the foliage, then I will know that it's more just a rhizomatus, not necessarily a Rex type, because Rex flowers are usually between the, the leaves, so they're not in a tall stalk above the plant. But this is Begonia Zumba. Look at how cool this plant is, and it's pretty big, surprisingly. The leaves are so cool looking. It's almost like a lime green with either black or dark purple veining, thick veins too. And the young leaves come out uh, lighter, almost like a, a lemon. And the purple veins are there. And it's just very, very cool. It has a similar um, escargot type twist, the curl on the inside. But it is a beautiful, beautiful plant and very easy to take care of. Um, the non-Rex rhizomatous types, because Rex is a rhizomatous too, but it's a specific hybrid so um, or group of hybrids. But the rhizomatous non-Rex are even easier to take care of and maintain than the Rex. They don't require as much humidity. Um, propagation's a lot easier. The leaves are a lot sturdier and stronger. And, um, and this one, I already have some cuttings and I'm gonna take more just to make a whole bunch of these because they're just very, very cool, very pretty. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the flowers look like. Again, same care as the other rhizomatous that I have. Um, well draining, well aerated soil. Um, adding extra perlite definitely takes care of that. Uh, a peat based soil is fine. Some people even grow them in a cocoa peat um, base with added perlite. Uh, I use the, I guess like the Miracle Grow house plant, house plant blend, and then I add in some extra perlite just because I want it to be nice and fluffy and aerated. And you don't have to water these guys until they start to show signs that they are thirsty. That's usually the practice. Wait for the leaves to kind of wilt a little bit, not like completely wilt and you're, you know, gambling with it. But, uh, you know, wait for it to be thirsty. You can also feel the, the weight of the pot because if it's very light, you know that there isn't much moisture in the soil. But you can also feel the top inch or two of soil and see if it's dry. If your finger comes out damp, you do not have to water it. So definitely wait until the soil, the potty medium, dries up um, at least the first couple of inches before you water. And that could be a week or even two, depending on how big the pot is. But this is such a cool looking plant. And the underside of the leaves, I'm holding the camera so I can't show you, but it's got the same or similar Rex begonia, Rhizomus begonia patterning of the reddish veins. Um, so it's like red and light green on the, on the underside. But look at these leaves, these are so cool looking. Very, very cool. So uh, obviously I'm gonna be taking lots of cuttings of these because I want them all over the place. But uh, yeah, Zumba, Begonia Zumba and Rex Rhizominus, they consider it, but we'll see if it's really a true Rex by the flowers. It may be, but uh, I like to do these little tests anyway. Look at how pretty this is though. I just can't get over this. The leaves are just so cool. Anyway. If you have any questions about care of these and other rhizominous or rex begonias, at least how I'm taking care of them because I'm a very unconventional grower, just let me know. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to be notified, and I will see you <laughs> in the next video.